Electrophysiology is a highly specialized type of cardiology which focuses on diagnosis and correction of the pacing of the heart, its electrical impulses, and arrhythmias. Dr. Michael Cow of Methodist Hospital in Arcadia explains the advances in this field of science. Electrophysiology is a really interesting specialty. And really what it is is that it's how the electrical signals in the heart can give you a heartbeat, but if these electrical signals are not really acting the way they should, bad things can happen. And some of them can be where the heart rate just goes really slow. And what happens when your heart rate goes slow? You get a little woozy, you pass out. Not a good thing. Or the heart rate can go really fast. And when it goes really fast, what can happen with that? Well, your heart feels like it's going to jump out of its chest. And then you start getting a little dizzy. You may get a little shorter breath and chest pain. So somewhere between a really fast heart rate or a really slow heart rate is really what the field of electrophysiology is about. People think of the heart as just really a muscle. But really, what controls the muscle is the electrical signals in the heart. And really, electrophysiology is, is the field where we work on the abnormalities or the problems of that area. The most common problems that people come for an electrophysiologist to evaluate and treat are something called tachycardias, which is a fast heart rate, or bradycardias, which is a slow heart rate. And then probably the most lethal is something called sudden cardiac death, where basically someone had a cardiac arrest and died, and then we're lucky enough to survive that um, and they will require treatment so that afterwards they would be treated if they were unlucky enough to have it a second time in their life. So that's sort of the full spectrum of what electrophysiologist performs and treats. Dr. Cal talks about the treatments for correcting heart arrhythmias. Well, the treatments for electrophysiology first always involves medications if at all possible. If medications fail, we have procedures that we can do. For treatments of bradycardia or slow heart rates, we can put a little device inside your heart called a pacemaker. A pacemaker will give you a heartbeat if your heart rate is too slow. The next step up from a pacemaker is something called a defibrillator where it can actually shock you and you kind of think of it as an emergency 911 if your heart were to stop or have an arrest. The other type of procedure that we do is for fast heart rates are called tachycardias where we would put these small little tubes called catheters inside the heart. We would find the area of the heart that is having a problem with the electrical signals and we would apply just a little heat and by doing that we would get rid of that abnormal pathway or abnormal signal and therefore get rid of the problem. That's called a electrical physiologic study and ablation. Within that, there's a lot of different types of rhythm problems. The most common nowadays that people have throughout the United States is something called atrial fibrillation, where the heart just beats really fast and it really beats in an unorganized way. And so what we do is we try to reorganize it by electrically isolating the abnormal part from the normal part. And this is called an atrial fibrillation ablation. And this is really what electrophysiologists are known to do because we're the only doctors that have this procedure to treat it. Um, but in the future, electrophysiologists will have more tools that not only involve things and what they do in the heart, but potentially things outside of the heart. And that's what makes electrophysiology so exciting, is that the treatment that already has been performed can be actually expanded so that we can give other diseases a treatment that they currently don't have. I still remember one patient very vividly. He's a really young gentleman. He was in his early 30s. He had come because he couldn't walk five feet without being short of breath. His heart was really weak. The heart function, we measure it as a certain number called ejection fraction. Normal should be around 60%. His was only about 5 to 10%. And really, he, he had no other therapies. His medications didn't work, and he said, Dr. Cow, all I want to do is be able to walk across the room for, without being short of breath. Is there anything you can do to help me? So what I did is I put in a device called a biventricular defibrillator where there's three wires in his heart that basically resynchronizes his heart to beat in a very organized manner. By doing that, it made his heart more efficient, not necessarily stronger, but more efficient. So after we put in that device, as soon as I brought him up from our cath lab, which is where we do our procedures, he looked in the mirror and said, Dr. Cow, 
this is the first time in years that I've actually seen my, red, my face turn red because now I actually have blood flow. And that happened that quickly. And he's been thankful ever since. So now, not only can he walk across the room, he can actually walk across two rooms. And for him, it's a big deal. For us, we may not think, well, why, why is that a big deal? But for someone who couldn't walk five feet and now they can walk across two rooms, that's, that's huge, meaning that's the quality of life. And that's really what we're here to, to do for our patients and to be a good doctor.